today we will discuss how to conduct pad test before going to discuss about pad test we need to know what is pad and what is the application of pad test pad means portable appliance testing portable appliance testing is the inspection of portable electrical appliance such as micro oven water heating element and grinding machine drilling machine which are you know uh, which are using in uh, uh, technical uh, field so that one we are going to discuss about pad test pad test uh, we can do in class 1 and class 2 equipment what are class 1 equipment and class 2 equipment we are going to discuss difference between class 1 and class 2 equipment is class 1 appliance has an earthware and class 2 apply doesn't you can check here the left side is a class 2 equipment because you can see here there are two pin there is not earth connected because the body is made by plastic and the right side equipment this is made by uh, metal that is why it is a class 2 equipment. Before proceeding to the pad test you should remember four things it has uh, mentioned here. First one is a visual inspection it is very important to, view, to check visually your uh, equipment. Second one a pad test there are five methods you have to conduct during the pad test what are they we will dis discuss in details. Third one a functional test, it is very important to check your asset or equipment if it is functioning or not and fourth one is leveling and record keeping. So once you have done the test you have to put a pass and fail test sticker on the asset that means you will get to know it is pass or failed. If it is failed you cannot use it, use it you have to keep out of the site. Now we are going to discuss what we need to do during the pad test. So there are seven things we need to carry out and it is very important to carry out during the pad test. First one is earth bond which uh, the shortcut name is RPE test. The earth bond test measures the resistance of the earth from the pin of the main supply plug to the earth body of the appliance and indicates how good the connection is. Second one uh, we would need to carry out insulation test the shortcut name of insulation test is RISO. In this test measure the total resistance between any two points separated by electrical insulation. The test therefore determines how effective the dielectric that means insulation is in resisting the flow of electrical current. Third one we need to carry out the substitute leakage test. It is apply a reduced AC voltage typically 40 to 60 voltage AC between the light and neutral joined together and the hot conductor or test lead for class 2 equipment. Fourth one we need to carry out uh, touch current. So, everybody knows in class 2 equipment there is no other thing that is why the test lead is connected to an exposed metal part of the body to do the test. Then uh, we need to carry out IEC lead test. So, if you have a IEC lead then that should be tested as an individual appliance and recorded and label as much. Most are class 1 and must have a visual inspection, earth continuity test and insulation resistance test. Well, so also we need to carry out the appliance power load current test. This appliance load test is used to read the ampere and watts of the most common cord connected household appliance and lighting fixer. The tester, me the tester measures the amps and watt of energy used by individual electrical appliance so that you can match the electrical load to a com compatible output source. Well, so uh, now we are going to do the pad test practically. So just watch the video carefully. You will get to know how we can do the pad test in practical. Okay, so now we will do the pad, pad test. This is our equipment. Uh, this is a class two equipment. So first of all, we need to insert this one. Okay, so visual inspection is required. Uh, Okay, so now the technician is doing the visual test inspection so everything should be checked visually the cable condition physical condition of the cable so once it is satisfied then we will proceed to the test so we'll start from the load leak test start load leak load load center Select the test no, board. Go, go. This go. Go. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, this is pass. Yeah. So now we will go 
to the eye touch current test so for eye touch current we will insert the lid lid this one eh ha yes yes insulation test we will try inspection okay okay so these are the th three tests we have conducted now we can certify that this appliance is pass anything else we need to check yes sir no auto test it is not possible auto test is not Yes. Yes. Bon test two five zero. Bon test fail. Ah, we need to connect it from here, huh? दूसरा भी है वेलकम वेलकम इसलिए कहने बोला हां मैं इधर वेलकम वेलकम हां ओके लेके आएगा मेनी थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड एवरीथिंग